what's going on? Welcome to another LEGO special from Aspie with Attitude. As a quick introduction, my name is David. I am from Melbourne, Australia. I have autism. I have some speech difficulty, a speech impairment, and a speech impairment. I have a spooky syndrome, and that's why I call myself an Aspie, and I'm also an adult fan of LEGO. And now, welcome to the seventh time that I'm actually doing a LEGO special. Considering that, in the description down below, I actually leave a link to a playlist of my LEGO episodes that I've done previously. And the reason why I don't do much LEGO episodes is because it just takes too long to make. And pretty much, I'm running an autistic YouTube creator channel. Pretty much when I talk about autistic life hacks, and any issues and politics that may be affecting the worldwide autism community and to explain the facts, what life's like being on the autism spectrum. And how is though, if you know stranger to this channel, Aspie Attitude, in most of my video uploads, you'll notice on the left end table when I'm sitting on the couch, you'll notice that I like to show off my Lego. As it happens, Lego is one of my main hobbies besides social media and it's always away from all screen time when it comes to Lego. Because like Lego has been a very big part of my life since 1982, 40 years ago. Like I had my first experience with Lego and from the years 1995 up till 2018 with my dark ages when I didn't have anything to do with Lego at all. So anyway, like, I just want to get on with the main part of the video. What's happened is, like, I had invited two of my best friends who are on the autism spectrum, Adam and Matt, and it just happens that I did buy a Lego castle, and the fun and joy I wanted to get out building this Lego castle is, had my friends help me build it and I've got an 11 minute video involving me and my friends building this Lego castle and I think it's time to get into the time lapse shot from Aspie of Attitude and I just hope it's worth 11 minutes of your life watching this time lapse shot and let's start the show Welcome to the actual Lego build for the seventh Lego video upload from Aspie with Attitude. And this time around, I actually brought two of my friends around, also on the autism spectrum, and introduce yourselves. Hi Matt. Uh, Adam made the history nut. Oh yeah, cool. Like, yeah, that's why I invited Adam. And also, Matt loves Lego, and Adam loves history. So, like, we'll get Adam to explain what's going on on the table um, right behind you. Got some medieval Lego, I think. 14th century, maybe a, a hundred years war set? Yeah, yeah, probably about the 13th century. I think the 14th century was a plague. I reckon it's just more of a 11 for 13th, 12th, whatever it is. Anyway, it's all ancient history here, and maybe Matt will explain what we're gonna add in this Lego thing. What are we gonna build? We're gonna build. And we're gonna, are we gonna build this now? Yes. We can build a castle. Yay! We need for a big castle for the medieval Lego scene. We've been saved this. Yeah, and time to get on with it, shall we? Yeah. Let's do the time lapse. Do the time lapse. Yeah. And now we're about to get ready to actually build the Lego castle. And you introduce what you want to say before we start. I think it looks like well, an old fortress from Europe. Alright, that's him being the history of that. And what about you after when you're watching me build some of my other Legos in my previous Lego videos? Um, do you remember last time they had me on my phone and they showed me to figure this? Oh yes, that was when we were building the assembly square back for episode 140. And I think you're watching me build that pirate ship thing back in episode 159. And now I'm here face to face. What about now? Yay! <clears throat> so anyway, we're going to get ready and just build this. And before I begin, once we open this box, 
yeah, we're not going to stop because we're actually going to be doing a time lapse and you won't be seeing our faces because we've got this area here and I think we're going to get a time lapse started from Aspie of Attitude Lego number 7 when I talk about my medieval Lego collection. Gotta run, sorry, gotta go home early. Peace out. Yep, goodbye to the history nuts. Bye sees to the history nuts, oh, Matt. Well, well, I'm going to go home soon, because I had to go to Mitch's party. Right, can you guys help me carry some? Goodbye. Okay, Matt, we just lost our history nuts, didn't we? Yes, we did. Yep, well, Adam's gone. Mm -hmm. And us two, we're gonna actually continue building before you're gone. Yes. Yep, and. Mitchell, another friend of ours, and hasn't made an appearance in any of the videos yet. And I know he loves Lego, Mitchell. Well, I'm still trying to build a Lego with my friends, like Adam had to go, and now I've got another friend that has to go, and his name's Matt, and he's very tired, and he's looking like a zombie. <laughs>
yeah. <laughs> yes, anyway, should we have our nap now? Matt? Yes, we should. <laughs> okay, you want to say bye, Ziggs? Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Are you tired, David? <laughs> yes, I am tired. <laughs>
and like, yeah, I just wanted to actually have two castles, enough to fit in the small space that I have pretty much at home. And definitely got a couple of horse and carts, just big enough to really get the medieval landscape all happening. So like, I pretty much love to add a little bit more. And you can actually see that I've got some, um, some custom built trees, which I'm just hoping to replace these round trees that you're seeing here, which is only pretty much temporary for this set at the moment. And or even got a bit of a Lego dragon. And I do have some Game of Thrones minifigures, which is actually not officially Lego at all. Because due to the fact I'm a big fan of Game of Thrones, I really wanted to add some of the characters in my medieval Lego theme, just to show for it, and the reason why I got into it, despite that I've never had much of a medieval Lego theme in my childhood. And it wasn't until when I was 11 years old that I did get the Ghost Lego that you pretty much going to be seeing in the animation at the very end of this video content. Well I've just felt that I've actually shown enough in this video content in regards to my Lego castle. Yeah there's actually just so much to look into since I'm pretty much bound to maybe get a few more nights into the castle setting here. So like if you really like what I'm doing here and you want to show more love and support for what I do in this channel, please subscribe to Aspie Attitude. And also, if you want to keep up to date, please don't forget to ring this notification bell to keep up to date with Aspie Attitude. And also, please like and share this video content around just to show more support for this channel, which I really appreciate. And also, don't forget, I'll be leaving a full playlist in the description down below. And also, I'd like you to stick around till the very end of this video, since I'll be doing more LEGO animation till we hit the thumbnails. Since, like, I'll be leaving the thumbnails for my City Police and the Space LEGO and my Pirates LEGO, which are actually my other things that I really love in terms of Lego as well. So, so like, I might actually move my chair around and I uh, should not have banged the table there. So, like, I've just had a couple of horses actually falling down. Yep, only if she can stand up. Alright. So, let's time to finish this video off, shall we? Thanks for watching this video and I hope you really enjoyed my Lego here and it just takes too long to make these Lego videos that's why I don't get to do it more often and I'd like to say peace and respect and see you next time and please stick around to the very end for more of my Lego animation involving my castle Lego theme. Peace and respect and see you next time from Aspie with Attitude.